Hi everybody, welcome into another edition of the GassoCast. I'm your host at Gasso Linden, joined by at iFilm Hoopers and at Gasso Mass. I, um, I ain't been on one of these in a second, huh? Yeah. Welcome back to the pod. Yo, boy is back. <laughs> no blue. Yeah. Uh, Want to hear about some Elvis? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody give us a fantasy football hot take, please. I love you, Blue. <laughs> All right, so here we are, ready to go. Season is primed up. I mean. Friday, we're counting down by the hours. I mean, the this, this season finally gets to the swing of things. We're going to be all over the place. We'll tell you about that here in a second. But first things first, yesterday, as a staff, we were five deep at iSchool in Louisville to go see Dynamic Prep against iSchool. I mean, that was that was a very nice kind of way to kind of smooth our way into the season. I mean, Matt, what do you think about that one? Well, first off, if you ever want us five deep as a staff, have your – game during the middle of the day that was awesome uh i'm, I'm totally for that uh but tayshaun bridges was the biggest takeaway for me um hadn't seen him before and he's this big stocky about six one six two guard he can get anywhere he wants on the floor and then he just has so much power and can finish through contact really really fun and explosive the, the difference was the transition game dynamic prep made high school pay for missing shots and turning the ball over no absolutely one my takeaway was just that first game of the season um but both teams have plenty of prospects you know you saw oh, some good sure. things from high school with matt reed jacob hudson and jacoby campbell um you know at one point they were down big and they made a big comeback um and then on the other side dallas hobbs took the game over like you said in transition and when we talk about transition we're kind of more so just the efficient the efficiency of being in transition you know they're going to score every single time they're not missing layups they're getting to the rim and like they just kind of overwhelmed high school but Two teams that I'm excited. We look at this tournament season going forward. There, and a lot of these events will be at, so we'll get to cover them more. And they're both, you know, fun to watch. Yeah, definitely going to be a stopping point for us as a staff and for college coaches down the road because both of those teams have prospects up to the gills. Um, so now we're going to move on to our commitments. First off, today is National Signing Day. Congratulations, all you seniors, um, putting pen to paper on your official offer sheet. Um, you know, wish all you the best at the next level. Um, so congratulations again to and, you guys. And to the families. You know, a lot yes. of sacrifice went into this, so it should be an emotional and a joyful day for everyone involved. For sure. I mean, I, I remember mine, and it was one of those deals where it, it finally feels real to you, you know, where it's not just like, am I going to be a college basketball player? Is, is, right. Am I stuck in some kind of limbo? It's like the finish line almost. Yeah. And then you are got that out of the way. You're ready to focus on your senior, senior season um, and give that your, your all um, and try to go win a state championship. So. Yeah. Uh, a couple new commitments over the past week. Uh, obviously, the big one, uh, Ron Holland uh, signing with Te- or committing to Texas. Uh, we had Kenneth Lewis going to Prairie View A&M. Matt Reed, um, who recently decommitted from Richmond, going to Tulsa. Yep. Um, Evan Phelps to go into Texas A&M Commerce. Trey Pullins going to Louisiana Christian. Dean Ballo going with Trinity. And Jaden Barks committing to Lamar. Congratulations to you seven guys. On, uh, on your commitments over the past week or so. So now we've been talking a lot about uh, in the office about the college games that we've been seeing. Monday night was a great night where we got to see, you know, 30, 40 games. Everybody. <laughs> I mean, everybody's playing on, on, on Big Monday. Uh, so we were just talking about some of the Texas kids that we got to see um, that, that we've covered here. Um, and, and for me, um, out of San Antonio J with UTEP, we got to watch a lot of that Texas UTEP game. Was Zarek Onyema still has that quick bounce? Still is just a rim protector, rebounding machine for UTEP. You know, it was kind of a rock fight there for a little bit with UTEP and Texas. And Arterio Morris had some flashes for UT, um, but seeing Zarek out there being productive on the inside for UTEP was a good thing for me. What about y'all? Open it up. Who was somebody that stood out? Yeah, Zarek Phelps. Um, big Zarek fan. I was obviously when he was at Duncanville in high school. And then I went to see practice of SMU earlier this season. So I tuned in right away. Um, and Zerk from the, from the back or from the tip was just electric. I think he finished with 28 points and I sent y'all a, a little video of him, oh, yeah. him going uh, in transition and kind of using his, you know, his, I guess his, uh, his body control. That's just so elite. He was going full speed, stopped on a dime, did this little quick floater, got out of there. Um, Zerk's really impressive. He is a um, A plus athlete. Yeah, for me, uh, Rylan Griffin at Alabama. Alabama is another one of those SEC teams that um, brought in a really big time uh, freshman class. Rylan came off the bench and ended up being one of the biggest minute guys for the Alabama team. And right away, you see 
he does things that keep you on the floor, aka knockdown shots and compete. Like he's and such competes, a competitor, man. you know. And just that energy, you know. He had a, he had a big shot. Other team calls calls a, t- a timeout. He comes off, you know, flexing at everybody, getting everybody involved in excitement. So good for him, you know. Right away, you see that he's going to be involved in whatever Alabama's doing. And the other guy I want to shout out, Jawan Roberts, University of Houston. Um, this is his third playing year. He redshirted as a uh, freshman, but his first uh, career start. Uh, Twelve points, six rebounds. You know, just one of those kids where you look at. Um, he was top ten in our state rankings when he came out. You know, seeing a kid redshirt and kind of trust the process. Mm-hmm. You know, playing and learning, being around that Houston culture. You know, he's primed for a big season with a Houston team that has um, more than just Final Four a- aspirations. aspirations, and he's yeah. going to be a big part of it. So shout out to Jawan Roberts, um, the clean shoemaker product. Yeah, um, you know, uh, we we say it all the time. There, there's just about every single game that we looked at, you know, has a Texas kid, if not multiple Texas kid, on the roster. Yep. Um, and, and, I mean, we've been beating the drum for a long time. Recruit Texas if you want to be a successful college program. And we could talk about, like, 30 more players. Like, I, I was just on ESPN Plus going and going. I mean, Case and Wallace is ridiculous. Keontae George, the passing abilities. <laughs> like, he, you could see how these kids are bought in and it's translating just so – so easily for these guys, and I don't say that lightly. That's a huge deal to right. translate like that to yeah, the next no, level. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, so now, just a, just a quick pivot into our weekend destinations. Where the Gasso staff is going to be in the gym this weekend for the for the opening uh, weekend slate of games for the high school season. Um, Timmons, I, I know that we're both going to be at Cowtown, but who is somebody? Uh, a team or a game or some something like that that you have highlighted that that stands out to you of, of, from that slate they have on offer. Right. So yeah, I'll be at Caltown both Friday and Saturday. That's kind of been my own personal ritual. I went by myself. I know you'll join me uh, Saturday. You know, Friday night there's going to be a good game, Frisco Memorial, Arlington Martin. Then you'll get a chance to see Host School North Crawley. Um, you know, the fans come out for their first game there, mm-hmm. so it's always a good environment. But Saturday I have um, South Grand Prairie and Allen kind of penciled in two teams that we've seen um, in the preseason. And all these scrimmages, you know, I already know that's going to be fireworks the way both of those teams play. A lot of prospects on the court can play fast. Um, Gasso yeah, so top 25 matchup. Absolutely. You know, I love the the, the Trent Payne-Cameron Carroll matchup um, is going to be electric. Um, Jet, that's one midday Cowtown. If, mm-hmm. you, if, if you're looking for some good basketball, um, a lot of good matchups that day. I'll hop in here. Blue and I are headed down to Houston for the RCS sports uh, season opener. And the team that I'm just like, Super intrigued with. There's, uh, it's a great event. There's a lot of really good teams, so it's hard to choose this one. But the one in particular that I'm looking forward to is Houston Bel Air. Um, both of their 25s and Anthony Andrews and Shelton Henderson, um, two really good looking prospects in the 25 class. And I just kind of want to see that growth um, from seeing them way back. Yeah. And um, it's just, it's been a minute. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing two highly touted kids um, and kind of seeing how they're they play together. Uh, Sheldon Henderson had a, a recent highlight on Take My Talent, and it looked very spooky. So I'm excited <laughs> for you to get your eyes on him down there this weekend. He's nice. Yeah. Safe uh, travels to Houston as we cover the whole state. So. Of course. Um, and I'll, I'll be splitting my time, uh, like Michael said. I'll, I'll be at uh, Cowtown on Saturday where Prestonwood Lake Highlands has got to be my highlighted game. I mean, anytime you have two like true national prospects locking horns like you do with Jalen Shelley and Trey Johnson um, – that's going to be, I mean, I think, what is that, one versus four in our uh, 2024 rankings? Yeah. Um, you know, th- those two, it's, it's going to be real fun seeing all that offensive talent on display for them. And then and, throwing Francis, too. Right, b- b- you Ooh, know, he had a really good, nice scrimmage. B- big Francis and, and uh, Samson Oliton yeah. in, inside. That's another A matchup. lot of intriguing things in that game, for right. sure. Um, and then, but then Friday night, I'm, I'll be over at uh, the DFW tip-off, uh, Marcus Sloan's event at JP2, uh, checking out Houston Legacy with their boatload of prospects they have, lock, matching up against Dink Pate, Desmian Jones, that, that whole Dallas Pinkston uh, team that they have. I'm really excited to see how Dink comp- competes against uh, a, a Houston Legacy team that's, I mean, 12 deep. They're going to be able to throw a lot at him, and it's going to be really fun. Watch out for Rashad Simpson. He can really shoot the ball. I thought he played really, really well at the scrimmage as well. Yeah. Um, and, so, and Tim Littlefield will be in yeah, Austin. He'll, he'll be at the, the Concordia, Concordia yep. um, CTX tip-off. My old stomping grounds when I was down there in Austin. Uh, but we got a ton of – I mean, 
you can go anywhere in the state, and there are going to be top level matchups. We do like we're trying to cover everywhere, but almost like you know, there's probably 10, 12 tournaments we could all make a case to go to because there are legitimate prospects, legitimate teams that we need to see, um, and we're going to spread that out throughout the uh, throughout the season. Excellent. Mm, yeah. So that's going to do it for this short edition of the Gasso Cast. Make sure you follow us on social at Texas Hoops Gasso. Uh, subscribe to the Gasso Cast on YouTube. Like, share, all that good stuff. Turn on the notifications. Uh, so thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you out there in the gyms because you know we'll be there.